Aberdeen Festivals is a group of 10 festivals that have come together to work collaboratively in marketing, promotion, audience development and strengthening the sector in the region. Our campaign looked at um, marketing the festivals locally, nationally and internationally. We ran a very high profile campaign aimed at bringing audiences from the city, out with the city and from the likes of Norway and Germany. Aberdeen Festivals has seen a real rise in audience figures so far this year. For example, Jazz Festival saw 40% additional ticket sales and Spectra saw 35,000 people flock to their event in February. So we're really delighted about that. We think this is a really prestigious award and we really hope that we win. The Look Again Visual Art and Design Festival is spearheaded by Smart and Robert Gordon University. It aims to put the very best of visual art and design on the map, creating a platform for artists here in the Northeast, but also encouraging people right throughout the region to engage with art and really take a second look at their city. So the campaign really had to create a sense of excitement across a huge diverse range of audiences, from artists themselves uh, to people throughout the North East who maybe never been in an art gallery before. Uh, social media created a huge part of that throughout Instagram, Twitter and Facebook and the media were really supportive as well. So we made sure that we drip fed stories to them regularly and gave each journalist a slightly different angle and, and a unique insight. Joined Up Thinking came about through uh, Step Change and Safety's commitment to further reduce hydrocarbon releases. The campaign is a unique collaborative approach that produces materials, simple engaging materials that can be used in a work site, can be used in a boardroom, but ultimately equips the user to have a much more engaged conversation around hydrocarbon releases. We've brought together expertise from across the industry, both human factors and technical to engage with the workforce and ask them to examine the part that they play in learning from incidents that we've had and then translating that into a safer workplace. The venture delivers a simple, engaging, sustainable and ultimately cost-effective project that can be delivered by everybody across the industry. Well, Chicker PR, we went bananas last year with the Scottish Traditional Boat Festival. We had come up with an idea to promote the festival, a media-friendly event that the community could get involved in, and we came across the idea of banning the banana in Port Soy. Bananas have long been thought as a bad luck fruit by um, mariners and seafarers, so it seemed only sensible to, to, to ban it from the whole of the town. We involved Police Scotland and we had a wee cheeky chappy, a wee six-year-old hiding from the long arm of the law with his contraband stash of bananas hiding behind a small boat. And it had a great social media dimension to it as well. So all in all, it delivered for tourism, it sold tickets, it did exactly what it did on this, the tin and it was fun.